All right, guys, I'm sitting here looking at the screen here. We have two transducers we're looking at. It's a TM-165, high chirp, wide, 30-degree cone on the left. This is a B-175, medium chirp. And they are both running through the same chirp processor. Both gains are a manual on 72, color at 80%. And let's just see what we see. The medium chirp is 1,000 water, 600 water. Fish under the boat. These look like striped bass here. Good fish, good marks. Set in high chirp, set in medium chirp. You can see, I don't know if it's because of the wattage or not, but with a lot more sensitivity here. You can see these schools of bait low in the water a little better than you can here with the 165. You have a, you still see your fish in there, but you're also seeing all this, uh, you know, the spearing, Little tiny sand eels, peanut bunker, all the bait mixed in. You're still seeing it here, but the, the medium is definitely a little more sensitive to it. Both gains are set at 72. Like I said, they're in manual. You can still see those stripers in there. This cone here is, is fluctuating because it's a medium chirp. It's anywhere between 9 and 15, I think. 9 degrees and 15 degrees. This is 30 degrees all the time. Both fantastic transducers, both are plugged right to an SM5100 chirp processor. I normally wouldn't have them in, set to chirp in only 22 feet of water, but I just want to see how they look. I would go with a single frequency, and let's check it out right now. Alright, this one is built in 83, we can do a custom, but let's go ahead and set it to 83. Let's go set our high to 200. Uh, we're a little shallower now. Let's see what we got. All right. Well, right away, I'm going to have to adjust my gain. I adjust it. I want my bottom to be nice and hard yellow because that's my hardest return. But I don't want it to be orange like that. Okay, that's good. Start to break up just a little bit. Set our gain over here. 53 worked over there. Let's see what 53 looks like over here. All right, single frequency 200 kilohertz, 83 kilohertz. This is our B175 medium chirp, TM165 high chirp, super wide, 30 degree cone. Mm. Seeing these fish on the bottom a little better. At this gain's yeah, setting. Let's go ahead and turn the game up a little bit over here. Let's do a. Uh, I'm assuming that's the wattage. It's showing the biggest difference, but I don't know for sure. There's a striped bass chasing this one over here, man. He's hammering this backboard. Woo! Come on, man, take it down. You want to fish on? Mm -hmm. Man, what do you got? Say something, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can see we're in shallow water here. I want to show you the difference here between the very wide cone on the 165 versus the regular medium. You can see these fish here that we're marking and we're missing them with the regular medium chirp. You got a fish? Nope. The regular medium chirp transducer, the B175, isn't showing much in shallow water. And the uh, 165, the wide cone is. So you can see why I like it for striped bass fishing because we're rarely deeper than 100 feet of water. And you know you wanna see as much as you possibly can. So let's get the ranges here close. 
and see the difference. It's a fantastic transducer. It's just, you know, only 10 feet of water is pretty interesting, the difference. seeing a lot of returns here that we're not quite seeing with a regular traditional cone transducer. It's cool the lights in it. What is he like emptying out old and No, nah, just showing off. Oh. Still look cool. Tax paying dollars right there and work. <laughs> right. You gotta spend them somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Spend the budget. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Alright, so we have it's way cooler when they're spreading their fire man. Yeah. Like in Perth Amboy. <laughs> yeah. Like in Perth Amboy. <laughs> oh yeah. They had a boat in Plainfield? Was that in the Greenbrook? No, no. Nah, they're just... Maybe there's like a, like a retired, uh, you know, firefighter or whatever. All right, so right now we're on high chirp and medium chirp. Let's see what that looks like. Go back to auto gain for that. leave that bucket out because it's just getting hammered. It's, 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 we're we're going to be knocking electronics out of whack here in a minute, I'm sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to have no radar for the ride home. No. There's cords coming off. Yeah, there's, there's just stuff getting stuck. I just didn't want to rip. Yeah. Want me to hold some uh, clothes there, Eric? What's that? No, no, I'm just trying to get these organized. Yeah, I have one back here as well. We'll take it. Where at? I'll get it. I'll get it. The from team up there. old school walk? TOS. I got it.
did in private. Yeah, keep that right. He's got a good one. <laughs> He's don't, don't, push push that drag drag don't push that drag forward. Don't push that drag forward. Keep the rod high. He's got one taking drag right, over so. here, Tommy. All right. Oh, don't I got him. What you can do? Just keep him There you go, man. Right? Uh, you got a good fish, man. Bass? Ain't broke off yet. You ain't got wire, so. <laughs> I'm Johnny Boy. Bring a cracker. Celebrate with the cracker. Celebrate with some crackers here. Somebody feed them. Love the crackers. Somebody feed them a cracker. Somebody feed them a cracker. Love the crackers. The cracker coming in hot, buddy. Cracker. Complimentary cracker. Cracker me. <laughs> He's been cracked. <laughs> crackers. This is a fish we were marking. Yep. Mm -hmm. This fish, exactly, that's what that was. That float just got over it. Put it neutral unless you're not ready because it's going to be out of here, you know what I mean? I'm ready to roll. Alright, put, put them down. Put them down? Yeah. Pull that. Do you have one with a clip, Mike? One with a clip ready on it? Alright, let's see. 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 Alright,
This cup holder? Three oh eights, one without a weight. Eric, yours is getting slammed already. Wow, we're actually sitting here. It's pretty nice. What's the temperature, Mike? Twenty. If you want to put them in rod holders, you can, but you don't have to.